welcome back. You know, hours in front of a screen. It might be a computer screen, might be a laptop, a phone, a TV can take a toll on our eyes. Good morning, Dr. Albert Pang, optometrist from uh, Plano. So isn't vision decline just inevitable? I mean, my eyes are not as good as they were when I was 18, and they're probably only going to get progressively worse as we get older? Yes and no, because um, obviously as we age or as we mature, um, all the structure inside the eye will also, you know, get uh, mature, get old. Um, but there's also certain things that you can do to preserve or at least make the slowing, uh, the aging process slower. Okay, one of, the, one of the things you say is exercise, staying physically active. Obviously, a lot of blood flows through the eyes, and if right. it flows better through the rest of the body, flows better through the eyes. I always tell my patients, um, the eye is the reflection of your general health. If you have diabetes or blood pressure, of course, your vision will not be that good. So vice versa, if you're able to stay active and then uh, able to exercise your peripheral vision by playing sports, be it yoga, be it uh, tennis, golfing, mm -hmm. and all those improve your peripheral vision, by doing that, you're also able to help you with your central vision. Okay, and what about supplements? Because I see these in the store all the time, and it says it's going to, it, it won't, Im will it improve or simply preserve my eyesight when you're talking about these supplements? Great question. Um, <clears throat> every day as we're looking at bright light like this, mm -hmm. we deplete our pigmentation in the eye. So we have to play defensive and offensive game. We have to, of course, wear sunglasses outdoor. Sure. If you do computer, there's specific type of lenses or glasses you can use to help you to filter all the harmful light. But at the same time, if you're able to use some of the supplement like lutein, zeaxanthin, like fish oil, fish oil will help you with the dry eye. Lutein and zeaxanthin will be able to help you improve the pigmentation in your macula. Okay, really good. Uh, so let's take it a couple, uh, some of the ergonomic issues. And you took a look at a couple of uh, a couple of photographs yeah. uh, of me. I think we have uh, uh, there. We, there we go at the uh, you know at at the, this very bright lights in the studio mm -hmm. uh, that really pale the uh, the computer screen that we're looking at so you got really bright not so bright in front of your eyes everything is about contrast when you're looking of course your work environment is not typical right we don't have a lot of overhead light you know a lot of light shining on you your desktop is kind of shiny give you a lot of glare a lot of noises mm -hmm. reflective light is annoying just like when you're driving sure. seeing all the glass reflection is annoying same thing when you have more bright light your screen become dimmer Right. So the contrast is not as good, not as comfortable for right. you Right, and see. you don't like, you're not a fan of cubicles like I've got there either. <laughs> Your cubicle actually is fine, but again, I want the, again, we are talking about peripheral exposure. Mm -hmm. want the, the cubicle to have less of the, the, uh, the obstruction of your peripheral vision, and also your angle is totally wrong. You notice that you have to do this to look right. at the computer screen. Um, always look at yourself when you're standing up, how you look at the stuff. Right. So put it more kind of like lower down instead of right in front of your face. Okay, okay, a little bit lower. Yeah. Terrific. Thank you for great advice. Uh, and, and we have uh, a link to The Good Doctor and uh, Trinity Eye Care on fox4news.com. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.